Greetings ladies and gentle fish and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Last time we ascended the trunk of Clara. This time we are going to have a look around the main settlement itself. Hoorah! Um, so what we are going to do is start making our way up here. Read the sign, is that a sign? Oh no, it's a shiny. I do like the shinies. Ah, god damn, sticky controls. Yeah. Now you can go either left or right, and they all come out in the same place eventually, but let's just go left for now and see what happens. ATE, don't hate me! <coughs> Look! Pointy headed devil! D don't come any closer. Demon, leave my family alone. And also no yummy yummies. This is a special ATE and there are two of these special ones. It only shows up if you brought Queener along. This town. Got no yummy yummies anywhere. You know can make famous Alexandrian dish Queen's Mill? You know her famous Southgate Bunk Cake? Uh, shiny, shiny items, and we pick up some thunder gloves. Now, Promethean Soldier Gear, only a tiny fraction of us made it to Clara, damn it. And I hope everyone who stayed in Promethea is doing okay. Moon Maiden Claire, the standstorm that protects our town is powered by magic. To keep the storm in motion, we perform a sacred dance to the melody of a heart and all the magic stone. A magic stone, you say? Ho, hum. Right, we're going to head over to the right, and this is just the region you would have come up to if you'd gone right at the entrance anyway. So, <coughs> if you come up here, there are some items somewhere scattered around. Ooh, remedy. Found a thing. Hey, I remember meeting you in Bermesia. If there's anything I can do, just ask me. And he opens a shop. Now, this is... Okay, let's, let's have a look at what he's got. So, the Partisan. This is another weapon for Freya. You can potentially steal one of these later on. Um, so, it's kind of up to you whether you want to buy it here or not. You'll also have another opportunity to buy one of these. Uh, later on. So there's no immediate need to buy it right now. Maltina Racket, that's a weapon for Dagger. Um, we actually missed a chest that had one of these in earlier on, but we can go back and pick that up so we're not going to bother. Dagger already has a lethal rod. Flame Staff, got one. Ice Staff, we don't have one. <coughs> this is one of those that um, we could actually have stolen or picked up at some point in the plot, but whenever we tried to steal it, we just never got our hands on one of these, which is uh, a little bit of a shame. It's not the end of the world, but it is a little bit of a shame. Now, off the top of my head, I don't think we have another opportunity to come across one of these, so I am actually going to buy one. Uh, needle Fork, already got one. Bone Wrist, got Mithril Armlet. We'll buy one, because we don't have one. Lethal Gloves, got some, got some, got some. Uh, bandana, we'll buy one. Mage's Hat, we'll buy one. Uh, Methyl Helm, yeah, we'll buy one. Chainmail, I think we've got one and Steiner's got it equipped. We'll pick one up anyway for Freya. And Methyl Armor, we will pick up one of those. And actually, also, um, the Partisan. Just in case we don't manage to steal one of these later on, I am actually going to buy one. There we go. So we've stocked up on some equipment there. Uh, let's just keep exploring. <coughs> this way. Um, and we are faced with more ATEs. Right, so we've got... I haven't hurt anyone. You bastard, you killed my father. Bastard! 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 Well, well, a bit touchy today, aren't we? He's one of the demons that sacked Bermesia. 
I, I haven't hurt anyone. Poor Vivi. We've also got There's a Mushroom. So make sure you watch There's a Mushroom. Like I say, it's one of the special ATEs. Mushroom! I never see this kind of mushroom before. I hope it edible. Right, now, that's a special couple of ATEs. <coughs> Basically, um, once you have seen those ATEs, then, and I want to make sure I get this right, where is it, honestly, I'm pretty sure you go down and you see Queena jump off something, and if you follow them down, you get this basically little sub-quest. Um, and if you f you can pick up some items that you weren't able to obtain before, um, but then you have to fight your way back up part of the tree trunk. So, there's that. In a moment, we will go back down and have a look. Are you a friend of that strange, apron-clad individual? <coughs> I wonder where he, she learned to speak so strangely. Good question. No idea. Um, I shall pass on that for now, because I don't know. That was a terrible accent, and I am so very sorry. Um, actually, let's go back down this way. Because I'm pretty sure I have missed something. In the inn? Yeah, I didn't go into the inn, because I'm an idiot. Right, there's Vivi. I've never done anything bad. Poor guy. Uh, no, not right now. Ether. And we'll also take the opportunity to save our game because, well, yeah, this is going to be interesting in a moment. There's a letter for Zidane. I decided to start a small theatre, but I ain't had any luck finding actors. Do you know any good actors who are looking for work? Man, how I wish y'all were here. Come to think of it, you Tantalus guys look like a bunch of outlaws. Just kidding. Koopo, is she looking for actors? I want to become an actor. Aww. I want male Koopo. Right, we're going to save it here. <coughs> Let's save, Koopo. So we're going to save here. Ransack the rest of Clara for all of its shiny items. Now, before going too much further, what I'm actually going to do is sort out the whole Queener thing. Because otherwise you run the risk of triggering the next bit of story accidentally without having done it. And that'd be kind of sad. So, just gonna... Yeah, we are actually gonna stay to restore our health. And make sure we've ransacked all the items here. <coughs> and then we're gonna go down and find Queen Up. Just before we accidentally continue the story. It is so easily done, especially if you walk around the town and talk to everyone. I'm so hungry now. Even spiral here start to look like ice cream. Ah, oh, what are you doing, Queena? So dizzy. Sometimes you're so annoying. Incoming. I've no idea how you land first, but never mind. Too scary, but good thing we exercise. Hey, a treasure chest. It's about time we got a lucky break. But I bet they're no yummy yummies, or they rotten away. Right, so you now have Zidane and Queena. <laughs> Let's just quickly check. Um, pretty sure. Yeah, that's fine. Now, this was what we came down here for. A silk robe. And magician shoes. Excellent. Now we jump off. Yep, jump down. And we make our way back up. <sighs> so I'm going to save here as well. Um, just because I can. Uh, and it is so easy to... I actually reloaded this bit because it is so easy to explore Clara and accidentally trigger the next bit of story without intending to. So, there's that. So we're going to get back up to Clara, continue exploring the settlement, and then we will trigger the next bit of plot. Up we go. Yep, cross the bridge. 
over this way. We've already collected all the stuff, so you can just make a beeline for the exit now. Up here. Ah, oh, bother. <laughs> Button mashing goodness. God, it feels like I'm playing God of War all over again. And actually, are we going to find that we've encountered absolutely no bad guys in our climb back up the trunk? It appears so, which is kind of amusing. Oh well, we made it up the trunk again. And now we have Queener in our party. And more importantly, we've gathered some items. So, we're going to keep going back up towards Clara. And going to make sure we have ransacked this place as thoroughly as we possibly can. Up here. Uh, over here, have I spoken to you? Yes, I'm pretty sure I have. Continue going up here. Shinies, echo screen there. And there's another one over here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Issue greens. So the Clarens fled Bermesia because the Bermesians began to value the art of war. Well, it does have its uses, if we're going to be fair. Yellow scarf, sweet. I am afraid I cannot let you pass. I have a message for Master Zidane from Lady Freya. I was told to convey the following. Zidane, please, this may take some time, so please wait at the inn. So she sends you back down to the inn. So that has now triggered the next bit of story. You want to make sure, if you've got Queena with you, that you do that little segment with Queena to get those items before talking to the um, Clarence up there who sends you back down to the inn. Okay? Before you do that. Um, I would like to stress that as much as I possibly can. Before. Um, but having done it, I mean, now we're just heading back to the inn. Um, is there anything for us to... I think we already picked up everything here. We've already got the partisan. Where is it? Yeah, past that. Okay. That's fine. So we're just going to head down. Is this the right way? Oh, well, we could have taken a slightly shorter route. Whatever. And plot! Help! What is the matter? The, the antlion's mauling a kid. The antlion is usually so docile. How could... We've got to teach that beast a lesson. This calls for immediate action. I shall inform the High Priest at once. Immediate action, hey? Hey, buddy, where are you going? These Clarins are all so damn lazy. You there, give me a hand if you think you're good enough. Right. Well, I'd already fully healed, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, and so now we are going to be thrust into a boss battle. Do bear that in mind. Uh, this particular boss has some things on it that you can thieve. Uh, and is weak to ice magic. Um, oh, am I going to do anything fancy for this? Uh, let me just check abilities. It occasionally inflicts darkness. Yep, sorted. Uh, we don't need antibody anymore. So let's have steel gill. There we go. And yeah, that's fine. Great. <clears throat> going to quickly save the game, and then we're going to go down and face off against the ant lion. Wee! There's an ant lion in a lot of Final Fantasy games. It's a pretty common um, opponent. Sometimes it's a regular mob. Sometimes it's a boss, as it is here. Just save Arino. There we go. Hello, little Moogle. Right. And onwards to glory. 
great justice. So you want to go down to the entrance of Clara. So either of these will do. It doesn't really matter which route you take. Follow Soldier Dan. And it's through here. And the boss music has started. Vivi's already down here. Ah, help me. It's Puck. Remember that annoying little rat kid who made Vivi his slave right back in the beginning of the game? Hang in there, champ. We're going to save you. Is the child all right, Zidane? Yeah, he's fine. Like hell, I'm fine. That voice. Might it be Prince Puck? Freya, where you been? For anyone who's, who's wondering, Puck, of course, is a name from Mid a Midsummer Night's Dream. Ugh. And the antlion actually lobs the kid, thereby releasing him, which makes life easier. That hurt, you stupid jerk. Here it comes. Right. Now, the antlion counters physical attacks. So you don't really want to be physically attacking it. So I really should have Queen him in the back row, but we'll deal with that in just a moment. This is where... Freya's Lancer moves comes in handy because it doesn't count as a physical attack, which is kind of nice. So then you can steal because why wouldn't I? And Vivi is going to... I haven't equipped him with the Ice Staff because I'm stupid. Okay, you want to equip Vivi with the Ice Staff so that he can use Blizzara. I have failed miserably to do that. He's still got the Thunder Staff. Oh, that's because I didn't get it in time. Trouble Mucus. Vivi has the trouble states effect. We want to get rid of that as soon as we possibly can. Stolen anointment. We're just about to use the aforementioned anointment. So how much is Blizzard going to do to this guy? 276. That's not a vast amount. Um, just to make sure Vivi doesn't run out of mana, what we're going to do is have Vivi spam focus on it. And then he'll use Blizzard again. Ordinarily at this stage, like I say, I have the Ice Staff earlier. I managed to steal it off one of the opponents who give it to you, but this time round the game was like, nah, I'm going to get that, oh, Sandstorm, I don't like Sandstorm, oh, okay, everyone wants to use a potion, everyone wants to use a potion, Stole me through a vest, well that's good, so Sandstorm puts you all on really low health, it doesn't kill anyone, but it puts you all on very low health, and also puts darkness on all your characters, which is fine because you weren't planning to physically attack anyway. <laughs> so that's okay. So spamming the potion button. Um, we'll use Lancer again. And we'll probably burn through another couple of potions. Let's throw one at Freya. Steal off of the ant lion. It's doing fire. Uh, now the ant lion doesn't tend to um, attack uh, multiple people, apart from with that sandstorm move, which might get quite irritating. Let's just bring Zidane back. We focused a few times, so let's blizzard it. This is so much easier if you have Blizzard already. Three, two, eight. It wasn't even worth using focus, was it? <laughs> Ah, well, right, item. I'm gonna throw a potion on Zidane. It's also easier if you manage to come across the um, not on Zidane, but for goodness sake. It's also easier if you manage to come across the zoo when you were going through Clara's tree trunk. Ah, someone else gets the potion. And um, that lets you learn right wing, which healing ability, which is nice. Nonetheless, we should still be able to take this guy down. Please don't attack. Zidane again. Thank you. Fyra, who's it going to be? Oh, for goodness sake. Take a hint. I want to steal your shinies. You've still got at least one shiny that I want. God's sake. Stupid friggin' boss. I really should have saved that Phoenix down until I had another character with a potion and standby ready to do his thing, to be fair. That's my mistake, never mind. Let's throw a high potion on Zidane, because I am 
tired of this nonsense. Trouble mucus not today. Come on! So that's a useless high potion. Well, not useless, but not what I wanted it to do. Right. BB, do your thing. There's some more damage. Sandstorm again. Make sure my guys stay alive. Come on, Zidane, you lazy pumpkin. <coughs> Up you get. Do something useful. Way Finally! Who's getting trouble, Mucus? It's Queena! Yay! Lovely, lovely, lovely Mucus. Right. Throw an anointment on that because that state's effect. Oh, well, there's two of them, isn't it? Great. Oh no, that's dark. Right, let's cure that. We also want to throw a potion on the Which is not relatively low health. Couldn't steal anything. Boo. Boo. Anointment. And then a potion. The antlion fight isn't the easiest fight in the world. Especially if, I don't know, I keep mentioning it, you haven't got Blazara yet. <laughs> Never mind. Fyra, who's eating us to the face? It's Freya. Blizzard. <coughs> Another 324 damage to it. Couldn't steal anything. Of course you couldn't, because you suck today. You suck. Sandstorm is a really annoying ability. Oh, I refuse to make a musical reference. It's overdone. Um, without Sandstorm, this boss would be so much easier. But it does have Sandstorm. So... What are you going to do, eh? Uh, let's throw another potion on... Actually, no. Let's wait until someone else is ready. And then res Freya. Then we can get back to the important business of stealing all of its stuff. God oh, damn it! Lance up to the face. Anointment. No, no one needs to be anointed. We will, however, throw a potion at Queen. Blizzard! Blizzard! Master! Couldn't steal anything. Anyone would think I don't have Bandit equipped. Potion on BB. Get there eventually. Chipping it down. Uh, this thing has around about 4,000 health. Oh, there we go. That'll be the killing blow. There we are, finally. Yay, 
Hey, Freya, learn level up. And we got a psychic card and some monies. Hurrah. Are you alright, Your Highness? Hey, Freya, what's up? But how can this be? I heard that Your Highness disappeared upon leaving Bermesia. Uh, yeah. Well, let us go at once to the cathedral to inform His Majesty. My old man, huh? Nah, I don't want to see him. Just tell him I said hi, okay? Later! But Your Highness... Take care, Vivi. He's so rude. Vivi much nicer. He's the first friend I ever had. I've got to tell him something. Tell Puck I love him. No. I see. So you saw Puck, eh? As mischievous as ever, Your Majesty. I haven't seen him in ages. I heard His Highness left Bermesia one month after me. That makes it three years. Given how old that kid looked... He basically ran away from home when he was five or something. Takes guts, I'll give him that. And yet both you and Puck decided to return to me in this time of danger. I am grateful. Freya, we shall conduct an ancient ceremony to strengthen the sandstorm. Surely no enemy of ours would attack with the powerful storm protecting Clara. And with the help of a dragon knight like you, the storm should grow even more powerful. Ah, the ceremony from the time when Promethea and Clara were one. I understand. Today, I met with utter failure when trying to defend Bermesia, and I will not allow Bran to exert her will upon us any longer. You've changed, Freya. I didn't think you were so strong when I first met you. I could not bring peace to Bermesia and thus fulfil Sir Fretley's wish. But now all I can do is protect this beautiful place. Yeah, protecting Clara is the best thing you can do for yourself. Doing so will help me. Some of these lines are a little bit you think it probably would have been better in the original Japanese, but the translation, mm, not necessarily the best. Anyway, time for some dancing. Strings have snapped. A terrible omen this is. Oh dear. I can't believe the sandstorm disappeared. What happened? I don't know. I've never witnessed anything like this since we settled here. On the harp there is a magic stone. Since ancient times we've used the power of the stone to control the sandstorm. Perhaps someone is trying to invade Clara. I fear that you may be right, my lord. I only hope our enemies don't come up the trunk. Well, how else would they do it? What are they going to do? Fly? Th that's me, yes. How dare they imprison us like this, those wretched court jesters. Zorn and Thorn will never get away with this. I can't believe I got dragged into this. No one asked you to meddle in our affairs. 
It's pretty sad getting backstabbed by your own queen. This is all some kind of mistake. I know the queen, she would never betray me. Wishful thinking. Who knows what she's gonna do to the princess. I must save the princess at all costs. I wonder if mother will even listen to me. Why did she attack Bamesia? And why did she arrest us like this? Oh, I must be sincere with her. She hasn't been herself lately. Actually, she's been acting rather strange since my birthday last year. The same day that tall man visited us. Maybe he had something to do with it. Come to think of it, that was when things began to change. Dr. Tot left Alexandria shortly afterwards too. What happened that day? Queen Bran summons you. Come with us! What? How dare you speak to me like that! Quiet! With us you are coming and that is that! What was that phrase? Oh yeah. Get off me you scumbag! What was that? I do not understand. Understand what she said, I do not either. Enough! Now come with us! Hurry up! For so long the Queen has waited. Mother. Darling! There you are! Where were you? I've been worried sick. Here, come closer. Mother, there is something I need to ask you. What is it, darling? I will tell you anything you wish to know. Did you... Is it true that you are responsible for the destruction of Bamesia? Oh, well, no wonder you look so concerned. That is far from the truth, Garnet. You see, those Bamesian rats have been plotting to destroy Alexandria for some time. I couldn't just wait for them to attack and destroy our precious kingdom. So I had no choice but to take initiative. Mother, is that really the truth? Of course. I would never lie to you. And you have the choice between believing her or don't believing her. Uh, not believing her even. I think at this stage... Garner is sassy enough to not believe her. For crying out loud, they were arrested as soon as they turned up to the castle. So I'm going to select that. You choose whichever option you want. I don't believe you. Oh, darling, what's wrong? Why couldn't you believe your mother? Or why wouldn't you believe your mother, sorry? May I also play a part in this act? Act? Yes, an act from a beautiful play. There is a knight on a white horse, and a beautiful princess. It is a tale of tragic love. Overcome by grief, the princess must sleep for a hundred years. You, I've seen you before. It appears we were destined to meet again. My sweet angel, come to me. I will take you to a world of dreams. She is beautiful even in sleep. <laughs> Impudent little girl. Zorn, Thorn, prepare to extract the Eidolons from Garnet. A belated happy birthday, Princess! <laughs> 16 years old, the Princess has become. Draw the Eidolons from her, finally we can. Eidolons of eternal life, Eidolons of infinite power, arise from the 16 year sleep. Let there be life, let there be light. The time has come, the time is now. Odin, warrior of the dark, come forth. What are you doing here? Tell me, why do you think the sandstorm disappeared? I don't know. I was surprised that there even was a sandstorm. 
Did you know the sandstorm was here for a thousand years and in all that time, it never disappeared, not even once? Perhaps Bran is behind all this. So, no doubt Bran is behind this. What about that guy who was with Bran right now? My mind's only on Dagger. I'm not going to continue being a douchebag. Actually, I'm more concerned about who that guy with Bran in Bermesia was. That man. I wonder who he was. Zidane, I'm going to head down to find out why the sandstorm disappeared. Hey, I was thinking the same thing. Let's go together. I'm going to go find Vivi and Queena. I'll meet you at the town entrance. And now you take control of Freya. Time to fiddle around with abilities, methinks. Um, she's closing in on Dragon Killer, at which point we'll equip the Lethal Spear, and then later on, Partisan. Oh, that only allows you to learn High Tide. Eh, never mind. Um, she's learned everything from the Iron Helm. And she's learning Bug Killer from the Lethal Gloves anyway. So we're actually going to skip the Bronze Helm. Barbot would allow her to learn Dragon Killer. And then we could upgrade her weapon. Let's do that. And then we'll swap out the javelin for the Mithril Spear. Bronze Armor, still learning Bird Killer. And the Boots, still learning HP plus 10%. That is fine. Just a quick check in with her abilities. You are going to want Man Eater equipped. Um, you'll also want Bug Killer and Bird Killer. But you will want Man Eater. Uh, level Up is always good. Insomniac, you're not specifically going to need. Bright Eyes can still be. Uh, useful from time to time. Cover, sure. Um, if you've got antibody, go for it. I haven't bothered with antibody right at this moment. And that should see you fine. So, um, we've just equipped Freya. At this stage, I'm going to leave this video here and we will pick up things in the next one and see exactly what this sandstorm disappearing around Clara is going to mean. Catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.